Hey guys, coffee's ready. Sweet. Where's Sal? Uh, I guess he's still getting ready. I don't know. Sal, coffee's ready. The fuck. Sal. There we go. Hey guys. Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing much. Oh. Um. It's good. Yeah, it's. I haven't tried it yet, but it's good. Oh no, you have to take off your prosthetic right. mask? Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, I invited Travis over. Huh. Funny joke. Travis Phelps? Yes. Um, and it's not a joke. Uh, he's, yeah, he's here right now. Ready to come in? Um, what do you mean he's here already? I, I mean, you didn't think to ask us first? I mean, his dad kicked him out. What else was I supposed to do? That's not our problem. Travis? Ruin four years of our lives, Travis? But I don't think he's really that way. His, his dad kicked him out because he's gay. whoop do you fucking do Todd's gay. He bullied me for four years of my life for being gay. What? Why now should that matter? It, you guys just... Can you at least try to give him a chance? Why? I mean, he doesn't have anywhere else to go. What else was I supposed to do? So he comes to the people that he ruined the lives of. I mean, do you remember what he did to you? I don't think he meant it. Do you remember what he did to Todd? Well, his dad is probably just a really bad dad, so I mean... Well, you can't blame the parents. Look at Neil's parents. Like, they kicked him out, and he was never a fucking bully. I mean, did you tell Neil, by the way? Like, he's... Working right now. He doesn't even know what's happening. This now. is his place. It just kind of happened. I was there on the moment and I I didn't know what else to do. I mean I mean if it was me, would you guys do the same thing? Well, you're different. You're not, Travis. You're not an asshole. I still think that we should just at least ha hear what he has to say and give him a chance. Please, guys. If I'm just asking this. Please just once. I think you are honestly way too willing to let people walk over you. You gave him a place in Neil's home, didn't ask us, and just let him come here, and I can't forget what he did to you. He punched you how many times? A lot. And I'm supposed to just get over that? You You're my best friend. You can't use the fact that he's gay. He can't use the fact that he's gay. Anyone can change, you just... I know that you guys don't know him as well. I, I kind of had this- whoa, Wait, whoa, whoa. What do you mean as well? I, I had this moment with him. He, like, he was in the bathroom crying. I mean, he's really vulnerable and he feels really bad. Like, at, at his home, I mean, his dad is so bad to him. And I think that, you know, anyone, anyone can be given a chance to change. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't know. I'm sorry. How do you know he's changed? I guess I don't. You can't excuse his behavior just because someone was terrible to him. So he's coming. Great. Travis is coming. Sorry, fucking here. But that doesn't mean Guys. I have to be here for it. So Larry. I'm I'm gonna go contact Neil and see if he's okay with this. Todd. We'll see what Neil says. Hey. So, I know I sent you that text earlier, and it's gonna be a lot, but I'm sure that if you talk to them, everything's gonna be okay. I can't, I can't blame them for being mad at me. Listen, I know that, I'm sure that if we just talk to them, it's gonna be okay, and, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, look, maybe if I can, I can show you around the house if it makes you any more comfortable. 
Listen, I don't, I don't know if it was a good idea. Do you really think that they want me here? Honestly, maybe I should just go. I was, maybe it's no, just... I'm, I'm sure yeah. that they just don't understand. Like, they don't know you, and I think they'd all really appreciate getting to know you a little better. And I think that if we just talk to them and work it out, I think everything will be okay. Is, is that okay, or? I can't, I can't try, I just... Just... I don't know. Don't worry about it. It'll be okay, I promise. All right, um, I'll try. Listen, before we go in there, I just, I want you to know that no matter what they say, I'm, I'm still your friend, okay? And just remember that I still forgive you for everything. Thank you. Listen, maybe I, maybe I should just go. No, it's it'll not be, a good idea. It'll it's be fine. Let's, let's just go talk to them, okay? Let's go. All right. Todd, please, can we just talk? I know you heard me. Come on, please. Please, man. You're lucky that Neil said, give him a chance. Because, of course, Neil would. So. What now? Listen, I don't think I should try to talk to him right now. No, I think it's gonna be fine. Just uh, let me go talk to him, okay? Alright. Listen, I know that it's hard to give him a chance and everything, but you know how Neil's parents were. Yeah, and we've been over that. He's a fucking bully. Neil has never been like that. Neil has been nothing but accepting and loving. So you can't go off of the fact that, oh, his parents treated him badly because he's gay. Okay, but how would Neil react to the way that, you know, even is this really giving him a chance? Come on. Can we please just at least try? I guess. Only because I know that's what Neil wants. I, I get the way that people treat you when they find out that you're gay. And I know it's not easy, but that doesn't excuse the way that you've treated me and my friends. And expecting us to just let you in because, oh, you realize you're gay? Like, it's, it's not okay. Shit does not work that way. <clears throat> Okay, first, I did not ask to move in. So offered. I did not, I didn't assume anything. Listen, just, I don't expect you to accept me now because I'm gay. I'm not. I know that I can't be forgiven, but I want to make things better. And I hope that you can give me a chance. I just, I just, I have nowhere else to go, man. So, fuck, like, what do you want us to do? I don't want anything. Uh, that, you want us to forgive you. You wanna um, make amends for all the shit that you did. Listen, man, just, I had nowhere else to go and sell offered. I'm not, I'm not trying to sneak my way back into your life. I'm not trying to make everything better, I just, you know what? Good. Because you can't. You can't make shit better. You fucked up. And I'm sorry you're in this situation, but 
you don't know what it's like to be harassed. I don't constantly. know. Constantly. I don't know what it's like to be harassed. Have you? I swear. How many times did you fucking punch me? Oh my For times. existing. I get it. Your dad treated you like shit. You don't know half of it. You don't Fuck know. I don't. You don't know. Fuck I don't. You don't know Neil. He's the best thing that's ever happened in my life and he's been the exact same situation as you. I didn't but have he a is choice. the sweet you always have a choice. I fucking refuse to believe you don't have a choice. You know what, Sal? I can't fucking do this. Wait, Todd. Hey, are you okay? Do I look okay? He's right though, I don't deserve forgiveness. I did so many fucked up things, Sal. I don't deserve to be here. I can't no, be. No, wait. Just Sir. please give it. We can go We can't to fix this. I can't fix this. I don't deserve this anyway. But, Travis, let's just talk to Larry. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll say something different. Johnson? Really? You really think that he's going to see me differently? You're the only one who sees me as a good guy, apparently. I don't see why. What the fuck did you just say to Todd? What the fuck did you say to him? Hey, well, guys, please, can we just, can we go sit on the couches and talk about this? He's not gonna want to talk to me. You don't make assumptions for me. Oh, really? Do you feel different? Do you want to talk to me? Have you tried to talk to me? I don't know, man. Alright, okay, yeah, let's just go over here. Come on. Yes, Larry, please. <laughs> please, ma'am. I don't think he wants to talk to me. I'm in your house. I'm right here. Travis, come on. Can we just... Guys. Bruce. The couch, please. How about he asked me? Tell you listen to what I have to say. Really? I'm doing this for Sal. Me too. Listen, I know I wasn't, I know I'm not the person that you want to see, I'm the last person you want to see today, but I just, I had nowhere else to go, and Sal, Sal offered for me to stay here, and I don't know if, if he told you why I'm here. Oh, he told me why. Sal's a good person. Sal sees the best in everyone, even if they don't see it themselves. Of course he gave you a spot here in our home. It's Sal. But are you really grateful for what Sal's given you after what you did to him? Sal has forgiven me. I have yet to forgive myself. But did he forgive you because he's a good person, or did he forgive you because he genuinely feels like he should? Larry. I think you should talk to him about this. I am talking to him about this. And I've seen you punch him. I've seen you yell at him. I've seen you yell derogatory terms at him. And I've seen him be so willing to forgive you for things that I can't believe he's over. I've seen you yell things at Todd. I've seen you hurt him and hurt my friends. And you're here today. And I know you need a place. And I'm going to trust Sal because Sal sees the best in people and he knows what needs to be done. But how can you expect us to forgive that in one day? I don't expect you to forgive me in one day. I don't, I don't. I knew that coming here now, I knew that this wouldn't, I knew this wouldn't go smoothly. And I can't fix what I did in the past, I really can't, and I know that, and I'm sorry for the way that I made you all feel. And I wanted to apologize to Todd too, and not because I mean, not because I need you guys now. I'm just, I did a lot of thinking after, after school, and I know that what I did wasn't right. I'm, I'm really sorry for what I did to you guys during those years. I 
just need you to show that Sal's too forgiving. You are. You are. Listen, You're a good person. But um, I mean it, Larry. I... Yeah. You do. You're a good person. Like, you see the best in everyone, and I trust your opinion. But sometimes you're so easily loving to people. Larry, but he's so willing to change. Can you not no. see that? I do see that, but I think that you kind of told this to us the last minute and kind of expected us to immediately forgive. It's not just you, it's Todd, too. We can't just forgive in one day, and I know what you're trying to do, but we we're not you. We can't. We can't do that. Can you guys at least just give it a chance? I know. That's I mean, why I'm sitting here. I'm trying. This is me trying. I I'm just, sitting here. I don't know what you want me to say. Like, it needs time. I don't I understand that. And if you guys really don't want me here, I'll go. The last thing I want to do is cause any fights in your house. Larry, come on, we can't just... I know it's gonna it's take okay, some time. So. It's gonna take some time, and I know that it, it's going to for everyone. Like, especially Todd, and I know you, but I'm sure that we can just, we can work everything out, guys, and... I know that it'll get. I know that it'll get better. And I know that you're willing to give him a chance. And I know that you're willing to just talk to everyone. And I'm not just saying that I was in high school. And I know you can't see that yet. I know you don't. Of course, you don't believe it. But I do see it. But you need to give us time. I know. This is where you'll be staying tonight. You're lucky. Neil said you can stay, but do not get comfortable. Thank you. Hey, babe. You gonna be late? Okay. N no, it's it's not going well. Why? You don't get it, Neil. Like I can't. I can just can't do this. He literally made my life a living hell. Well, he's not you. Just because you two went through similar things does not make you two comparable to one another. Okay. I know you're right. You're right. Everybody deserves a chance. Yeah. Only for you. No, not even for Sal. Just for you. Okay. I love you. See you when you get back, okay? Wanna do that again? <laughs> Stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have the camera on, you're gone. I don't think it <laughs> We're in. Entering 504 be like. Everyone storm in. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Yo. 
You okay, Sal? So? Yep. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. I'm gonna put the strawberry in there anyhow. <laughs> hey, Bella. <laughs> she gonna wait. Hold it. Hold it. Hold. Wow. I didn't know Sal Fisher was Edward Cullen. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. sparkle. <laughs> Let's pretend it's it. <laughs> Should I say something? Should I not say something? <laughs> <laughs> Larry Are versus you still the boot. Larry versus the boot. I think the boot won. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> natural. All natural, baby. Ready? Ready? Let's go! <laughs> Why? Well, his dad just. He's probably just a really bad dad, I'm so. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> Me like shit. What do I say? What do I say? What I do forgot I say? my line. No, Luna. Bye, right. Luna. Okay. Quiet on set. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Stop <Sorry>. me. <laughs> what? Nah. Sorry, it's Luna. <laughs> Just copy in the background. Okay. <laughs> she Luna. Luna. <laughs> I'm gonna contact talk. <laughs> Oh, You're not! Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go message myself? Literally, you mess up a line and everyone in the room starts screaming. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't I'm do it again. Your, I'm fucking still the words over your, your brain. They were like, just dead. They were like, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Okay, okay. okay. Gizmo's girlfriend. Gizmo. Gizmo's girlfriend has accepted. Gizmo, you traitor. It's so good. I've been accepted by the kitty. Thanks, deactivated. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was me. Dude. No, it was. Thank you, that Sam, because I would think we got one. needle tears a hole. <laughs> people treat you for being gay but that doesn't excuse you for the way that you've treated me and my friends god damn it what are you doing i was like there's shit i was like Try. i was trying so hard not to smile so it's going This is a serious moment. Did you say to him? <laughs> 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 